I would like to express my support for the Action Day, which has been called by the founding Congress of the Industry All European Trade Union. This is a timely initiative to remind uh, to all of us the industry remains one of the key building blocks of the European economy and that we need to relaunch our European industrial policy. When referring to the economic crisis, a much-missed Italian economist, Tommaso Padua Schioppa, used to say that the solution was austerity for the states, growth for Europe. So far we only got austerity for the states and austerity for Europe. In my discussions with the member states about the next multi-annual financial framework, I do not sense a change of position. We all need to understand that good investments at the European level mean growth for all, not indebtedness. To foster sustainable development and safeguard employment, we also need to relaunch our industrial policy. The European Commission is now putting on the table a new communication in the area. We should make the most of this opportunity. Lastly, we need a new sense of solidarity between classes, generations, countries, and even between industries. Solidarity is one of the core values on which Europe is built. It makes sense not simply politically, but also economically. It provides for safety nets which allow for more confidence in investments and in consumption. In times of crisis we need more, not less solidarity. Incentives are the key. The EU and Member States should offer clear incentives to all those firms and industries which invest in programs aimed at increasing the skills and productivity of their employees. Investing in education and creating a highly skilled and dynamic workforce remain the best solution to attract further investments from the private sector and from international investors. We also need to review our incentives to make sure that they are tailored to the real economy. Take for example the financial sector. Today great profits are made by moving money as rapidly as possible from one asset to another. By taking risks with the money of savers, by leveraging and hedging via arcane financial instruments whose implications are not fully understood even by their own creators. Looking at the merits of a project or of an enterprise seems to be a minor part of financial services today. There is something fundamentally wrong with this approach. That is why intelligent regulations, coupled with the financial transaction tax, can be useful instruments to make financial markets go back to their initial objectives. Founding consumptions, infrastructure, research, ideas and enterprises. I believe that the European social model can and must be preserved. The economic and human costs of doing without it would be unbearable. A clear system of safety nets where no one is left behind and where everyone contributes to the common welfare of society is one of the greatest achievements of modern civilization. This does not mean that member states should shy away from difficult structural reforms to increase their competitiveness but these efforts should be evenly shared among the population. Young people, for example, are paying the highest price of the crisis and have only partially benefited from social protection, thus adding additional burdens to the bettered finances of European families. If you look at the work of the European Parliament and especially its Employment and Social Affairs Committee, you will soon realize how much it has being done to safeguard and improve working conditions, from working time to the fight against discrimination, from establishing standards to improve health and safety at work, to the fight against youth unemployment. But much is still to be done and unfortunately much still remains in the sole remit of the member states, which have often resisted legislation at the EU level. In this sense, it is often the work of trade unions like yours which helps spreading the message that social rights can best be protected at the European level. I wish you all the best with your initiative and with your work.